Another Realm is a narrative-driven tabletop role-playing game podcast. This season, we're using the Dungeons & Dragons 5e rules. Mm, kinda. Sometimes the language on this podcast can get a little spicy. But if that doesn't bother you, my name's Will, and I play Six. I'm Bruce, and I'm the voice of Archie. I'm Frazier, and I play Marg Bark. My name is Emily, and I'm the voice of Osiris. And I'm your Dungeon Master Tanner, and this is what happened on the last episode of Nether Realm, The Never There. Inky black wisps float through the town of Leyland, making anyone, even those who have touched the stones, forget people. Archie dropped off Dormloud's equipment at Father Dell's forge, while Six and Osiris chased down our favorite goblin, Ranji. Sadly, Ranji seemed to be working for Tivian. Even sadder, the party sent Ranji away. On the other end of the emotional spectrum, both Stable Grandpa and Baith Seishir are safe. And by some great convenient magic, Baith's business acts as a connection between Leyland and the capital city of Atoria. Welcome one and all to Velia. Here's the thing that happened fucking last time. Fucking uh, last you time. You guys went back to Leyland. There was a lot of smoke and shit, and you made a goblin sad. Uh, so then you went to go check on your horses. Goblin made us sad. I think, uh, like, this is right? a two-way street. He made us sad. We thought I he need, was a good I need, goblin. I need you to understand how slavery works, okay? Yeah, well, <laughs> you could choose to die. He... What? what? Die free, my dude. Where's he going to go free. if he dies, Die Will? Free, baby. Where's he going to go if he Dead. dies? Live free or die? Where's he going to go? Dead. Where's Dead. he going to go? No, you know the answer. Where's he going to go? The greater good. The death. It doesn't place. matter. The greater good. It's greater good. Greater good. Yeah. Yep. Well, who, who currently is flooding it and bringing, apparently bringing mm. people out? <laughs> Smoke monster. Oh, okay. well, yeah. AKA mm. Tivian. I mean, so if Tivian, he dies and he goes to uh, the, the drift... Who's to say he does just get sent right back out, doesn't get to die? Hey, newsflash. Nobody cares because he's still uh, in, le in league with the enemy. And he, even though he yep. is in league with the enemy, not by his choice, it doesn't matter because he can still well, uh, sabotage us saving the world. Yeah, he can fuck us up. It does matter. I mean, that's, fi that's fine. You can be like, hey, we can't be around you because of these we reasons. Told him that's we, fine. Would, we told him we would fix Will's it. Will's been a fucking hey, dick about um, it. To all the listeners, can I get a hashtag free Rangy? Um, yeah, please. Free my brother Rangy, yeah. please. Hashtag free Rangy 2024. Rangy for president, 2024. I look at Rangy. I look at Rangy and I say, ugh. Brother, ugh. Brother, ugh. Brother, ugh. If we are, the thing is, is that we are already so behind on this meme. And then by the time this comes out, it's going to be even <laughs> farther behind. Yeah, right. It's so not please make any leave sense. that and this reprimandation in there. Brother, ugh. Okay. Uh, but no, for real, what, what actually happened is you guys uh, were able to get a couple of things accomplished. First off, Archie was able to go uh, talk to Father Dell to hopefully get uh, his cursed armor and sword that you guys got from Dormla the Revenant taken care of. Um, and then you guys went and checked on the uh, status of your horses. Uh, and you found that uh, Stable Grandpa, just as unstable as he was before, but at least is still there. Um, and before kind of doing anything else and seeing, you know, if you get Osiris a horse. Uh, you guys went and checked on Baith. He knocked on his door. He came down and answered, open it up. And lo and behold, his window's out the front. Don't go back out to Leyland. What they do go out to is Velia, which is real good, real interesting, real fucking easy. Welcome to the railroad, fellas. Suck a fat one. Isn't Velia kind of like the end game of where we need to be anyway? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, okay. I mean, it's probably part of it. Six looks at the window. Then <laughs> he looks at the wall. 
He starts, no, 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 that's a really old meme. I'm going with a much more current meme with this joke that I'm about to do. Oh, it's a joke. Okay, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks, on, he looks at the window, and he realizes it doesn't leave where he thinks it does, and he thinks it's because the window's dirty, so he, ha, tool, and then he, uh, Oh, my God. <laughs> and then he spits Who on that thing. Who let this you man know? talk? You know, the thing is, is that. Pookie, I love you. It, it is, Pookie, I love you. <laughs> it is so <laughs> difficult to portray disappointment without a visual representation of your face because the muscles uh-huh. that are in there are so acute uh-huh. Uh-huh. uh so i don't think anything about your face are not that cute oh, oh yeah. thank you they're just <laughs> pretty oh, got him. <laughs> oh boom got brother him. Ew. <laughs> brother <laughs> ew. Bath, bath. yes is that is that velia i mean I said that when you came through the door that it was Velia. So yes, this is. I don't. Yeah, this I don't uh, that. Very, very. No, short no, no, no. Would, would would Six even know where Velia or what Velia is? Because Six has never been there. before. Oh, Six has a photographic memory of all the things in his memory. Yeah. Yeah, but he's never been to Velia, so it wouldn't. It, yeah. The the thing that it that is is he is just regurgitating the information that Baith literally just Wait, said. Uh, Baith, is that Velia? <laughs> Velia, my hometown. See, Mark Bark's been to Velia, so. Oh, aren't you cool? Oh, this fucking place. You know what? I'm not going. Oh, um, hiya. Hello, small new friend. <laughs> wow. Wow, way to be a sizist, you fucking ass. I'm not a sizist. You have to buy particular sizes to wear particular clothes. It is just pointing out someone's... I mean, you know what? I can see that it could be problematic if you'd started pointing, hello, pointy-eared friend. Yes, okay, it kind of... it. Why did I turn Russian? I cannot help that I'm small. You are very small. I'm Osiris, and I am... I am probably the most sane out of all four of us in this group. Oh, that's very debatable. I'm sorry, what? You're nowhere near as sane as I am. I feel like once you get to the point where you are comparing sanity, you've pretty much lost it altogether. Hey, oh, no. babe, this is Osiris. She's our newest party Hiya. member. That's me. That's nice. Hey, I haven't heard from you guys in a while. I was actually really worried, and then I decided that I needed to save my own skin because shit happened. Thanks for the communication, by the way. I don't know how we could have communicated with you in jail. Message, wizard, sending stones, uh, the regular ass postal service. We were in jail. (laughs) Wait, so hold on. You want four people who are the most wanted people uh, from Port Wayworth to use the postal service to contact you. Uh, You think that's a good idea? Yes. Oh, well, I see why I see why you were caught. Postal service is, is not snitches. They have always, they just do their job. Is that their motto? Yep. We, we do deliver the post and that's it. Snitches are bitches. We never, we never, t- through, through rain, sleet, hail and snow, they ask us questions. We say no. <laughs> <laughs> that is their motto. Wow. Even though we get some stitches, we ain't no motherfucking snitches. Okay. All right. <laughs> I, Hey, how many times are you going to say the same stupid thing, Will? <laughs> Brother, uh. At least three more times. Brother. <laughs> <laughs> Brother. <laughs> I feel like the, the going back to the part of sanity is really appropriate right now. Are you guys mentally okay? No. Never better. No. No, we are not. Oh, well, all right. We got it. Uh, he looks to Archie. And you? I feel like you should all know the answer to that question. I don't. I, if you recall, we actually don't know each other that well. We've just you've done a couple jobs for me, and that was it. <laughs> well, that, that's your answer. A sniffle and a non-answer is my answer. Hock to it. You just hock to it. He just hock to it. I am. Why did you spit on my floor? <laughs> <laughs> There's some weird smoke shit fucking flying around in uh, Leyland. And, uh, There's go- literally a spittoon in the corner. Ding, ding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ding. Can you yeah. can you wipe that first one up though? Like that was a that I was. I put my I step it on it no. with my boot. And I, <laughs> I just had the full <laughs> just rub it into the floor. Ew. 
brother. <laughs> oh, indeed. And then, I, and then I open the door back to Leyland, and I take, I step outside with that nastiness, and I rub it on the floor outside. Do you actually open the door out there? Not to Velia, but to Leyland. Okay. Um. Yeah, you you open. He's just wiping off his boot. <laughs> you open the door, and you do see uh some wisps floating around out there. They're kind of circling the stable. Um, and again, not really all seeming that sentient, but one does start dashing for the, like moving very quickly towards the door. Okay. I shut the door after I wipe my boot off. Okay. You uh, shut the door and on the outside, you just hear this rattling. Uh, the, ba- the door starting to rattle on its hinges and in, uh, you know, in the frame here. And the inky smoke starts to seep in through the, the sides of the door as the door shakes there. And Baith goes, uh, the fuck was that? Some smoke shit. Okay, cool. Uh, do you want to take care of it or do you want me to? Uh, well, I don't really know you're going to take care of smoke. I make the door not go to where the door currently goes. You can, you can see the smoke? No, I... I mean, I could see the door shaking. Oh, okay. Hey, Marbor. I no. This is this is kind of a thing. I hang on. And he goes and he puts his hand on his on his <laughs> door and he mutters an incantation. And you see this uh, white light emanate from his hand, and then the door stops rattling. Okay, that's fine. Now, continue. Um, if I didn't know any better, I'd say that particular wisp of smoke might have been after us, or at least coming for us in a way that the others haven't. It seemed a bit more sentient. Wait, you guys did let Baith touch a stone, right? No, that was no, Father Del. No, okay. Yeah. No, I thought, I thought I earlier, earlier, when you guys came back with Mark Bark for the first time. He, maybe? Yeah, I, I should. Sure. I have no idea. Yeah, I cannot remember. Six runs up to the bag and grabs it out and says, Baith, catch! <laughs> okay, yeah, you pull the stone out, you toss it at him. Um, he catches it. He's like, ah, fuck. Now I remember if I didn't, and I remember <laughs> <laughs> everything. Great. I take, I take the stone and put it back if in the bag. A, he had already touched it before. He's just like, why are you throwing this dangerous thing at me? Or <laughs> yeah, if B, it. he's not touched it before, he goes, ah, oh, fuck, now I remember everything. Yep. So now he remembers everything. Yeah. Good. Glad we resolved. Cool. <laughs> I was not doing that Thanks, whole, <laughs> do we want to touch the stone thing? Again? No, we're not talking about that for five minutes. Touch the fucking stone. All right, listen. Uh, so there's a lot of weird things happening out in Leyland, and there is... I had initially thought, you know, it'd be really good to expand the business, make a headquarters in Velia. So I was like, okay, I'll set up some things there and why make a new shop on the inside if I could just get a shitty storefront or a nice storefront with a shitty building on the inside and just connect the doors, right? So now the front door goes out to the streets it's of Belia. a good business decision. I thought so. It doesn't cost as much money. One rent. No, two or two rents. Still two rents. Two, oh. Oh, still two rents. Okay, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. But I only have to clean one place, which is nice. Uh, and also, if I need to flee one place, I just turn the doors off there and go to the other. So, really quick and very convenient. That's pretty cool. I didn't know this. Uh, this why was would e- you need to flee one of those places? Well, first off, because I was uh, called as a witness and also co-conspirator in your fucking mess, uh, which made me pause opening the vi- business. If you look out the window, you won't see a sign above the door. It is just... Everyone thinks this place is empty, which not good for business, but at least I'm not in Leyland where they expect me to be. Unless someone knocks and I... You, you, you get it, right? So, yeah, it's kind of your fault, I guess. You're welcome. <laughs> Glad you take these things seriously. Wonderful to have you in my employ. I have no idea how it's our fault, so I'm just... I don't... Archie doesn't say anything. <laughs> uh, by the way, Osiris is now working with us. Uh, therefore, she's working for you as well. Hello. Not getting any new contracts. Sorry. Lovely to meet you. You seem nice. No. That's okay. I I don't want to work for you. That's okay. Okay, great. You seem reasonable. I'm just here. 
you know? I Like, I didn't ask for any of this, like, past month. <sighs> well, now that we're in Velia, there, there are some things that we need to check out. I... Baith, have you heard about another me? Another, uh, like another you, you? No, no, it wouldn't be me. I'm me. I'm the only me, I think. No, the only news I get is from the postal service and their regular mailer. Felt like that was a joke. There's a joke in there somewhere. It's not a joke. They they put it through the slot there, and as he says that, oh, look right on time. It comes through the uh, slot on the door. Oh, let's not kid like the Postal Service is ever on time. This is It's fantasy, buddy. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's it must point. be. Yep. <laughs> it must be. That's the only place it would ever fantasy have. Fantasy Postal Service, yeah. always on time. I, let's you go. know what? This is me. I, I love the Postal Service. You guys, you guys do a great job. All my stuff arrives on time. Thanks. The APS, the Atorian oh, Postal Service. Actually, I was expecting a package from Mazona. Okay, go ahead. I was just, has anything come in, Baith? Nope, go ahead. From Mazona. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, What's there's Mizona? no joke. It's Go just, ahead. it's, it's a, the, the order by mail service. Oh, he's making an Amazon joke. Oh, Amazon. He's oh, making an Amazon Lord. joke. Yeah. I, ha- I have Mazona Prime. <laughs> I, I was thinking my package should have been here within two days as promised by my membership. I think it's pronounced but... pre-May. Oh, my Lord. Okay. This was right, super good. This done. is a great bit. That we do, you wanna, do, you wanna, good do you want to, do you want to dig your heels in on this one? No. No. You sure? It was good. Yes. It was good. Six. I'm still in six boys. Okay. I, so, okay. I don't know a lot that has been going on in Leyland uh, or in uh, Velia. There have been, I mean, the city is the city, right? There's always things going on. If there was anyone like you and they were spotted, I imagine they would be some sort of attraction somewhere. Uh, n- not, no offense. But, like, you are an anomaly. You are new and different. And, um, I don't know, you might find them at, like, some tinkerers or science convention, depending on who has them. Or if they're here on their own and doing their own thing. I mean, that could be a possibility as well. You know, people travel and show themselves off for money. Oh, well, I think there might be a stone here. What do you guys say? Should we check it out while we're here? It's one less portal. Uh, Tether is limited in how many portals he can make. We could u- use this as an opportunity. Real quick question. Do you guys think that the queen would remember her brother? If if she touches the stone, maybe. No, no, she should. She was part of this whole thing. Wait, would she remember him? Uh, I mean, I'm guessing because, like, the, the original six all remember, right? And she's part of the original six. Well, we don't know that for sure i don't yeah, think oh yeah 100%. No, we, i mean we do know that she was definitely a part of the original six but we don't know what of her memory remains or was taken i don't think we really have any sort of indication that's true because at all of that there was a separate thing to keep people from remembering to but i think she was part of that whole thing so i think she should I, remember. I, if i had to guess i suspect she would remember yeah Like, she would know, and she's just keeping it a secret. But why would she pursue the... mm, Why would she pursue the crown? Because it was supposed to go to Tivian. Hmm. I don't think she pursued it. I think it was just more or less bequeathed to her. No, she... Barca killed killed the previous king. Well, no, no, he did. He did not kill the previous king. He was the would-be killer of the king. He would be, yeah. But they still right, smoked okay. out the previous killer. king and put uh, yeah. a silt in place. So. Well, they put a silt in place because Tivian died, according to their thoughts, right? But they still went through with the assassination, and that was after Tivian was so... That means that yeah. silt still wanted the throne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, how yeah. did Tivian die True, again? Bruce. Well, can because... We, can we rehash that real quick? Well, he didn't die. He got sealed in the Palace of Stone. Yeah. He that. got sealed with Barca. Barca. The, all right, so back up real quick. Hold on, back up. So what was the what was the whole thing there? Remind me. Barca Just and Tivian were sealed away with the with the stones and the beast, which was the smoke monster, presumably in this palace of Withering Stone. The other ones escaped and got away, and and that's why Vieira is so upset because he was supposed to protect Tivian. That's the whole beef there. There was a lot of stuff going on there. Yeah, I too am still trying to figure out the timeline of things because of 
the I feel like the actual stones, like the ones that are in Six's body and things like that, would have had to come after all of that happened. So that means that uh, Jason and we don't know uh, that necessarily. But I, I mean, all like, right. it'll hold on, time out, K- Tanner. In your words, can you give us a nice, <laughs> compact, concise recap of things of that we know the, of the original six and the whole Barca Tivian situation, real fast? Okay, so Viere, Jason, Argo, Malcott—I don't remember if I said her name uh, yeah, before. Yeah, you did. Yira, Yira, because I got to spell it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Yira Voss and Barca. Uh, were with Tivian on the first expedition to uh, the Palace of Withered Stone. Um, on that expedition, shit went awry. Ari. 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 Yeah. Ari. Uh, shit refuses. went Ari. I, was, I don't want to make the joke. Um, and English so. Why not? What? Why not? Yeah. Why not? Why would you not make our fun joke, Tanner? Whatever. Ari. Uh, so, <laughs> on that expedition. <laughs> Barca, or things got fucked up in the castle. It started to collapse, and everyone went to escape. And this was after them fucking around with stuff, touching stones, doing all this kind of shit. Uh, Really never were given much in the way of history of what they did or what happened in there. But as they escaped, the palace crumbled. uh, Doors were sealed. Barca and Tivian were left behind. So then they, they came out, and eventually... Uh, Jason and Argo went back because they discovered that something happened with them when they were touching the palace with their stone and interacting with things in there that they had lost parts of their souls. So they went back to try and figure out what the fuck happened and uh, started doing their experimentation to, to you know try and make themselves complete again. Um, the Queen's involvement, like the only thing that you really know for sure is through the letter that Vieri had written to his deceased wife um, saying that the queen, he knew the queen, why wasn't she helping or wa- around or anything like that. Um, while Argo and Jason were working on their things, the uh, secondary plan to take care of the king, really bad king, dickhead, not good for the people. Uh, the secondary plan to take care of the king uh, went underway, which was involving... Uh, Viere, and he took the place of, tried to take the place of his twin brother, so he killed his twin brother, and then he was cursed with uh, ever-dyingness, uh, and then no one ever really talked to you about how the king ended up dying, but then his silt was put into power, and she was put into power um, less than 20 years ago. Okay, so Tivian wasn't murdered, per se. He was caught up in an accident along with Barca. The king was murdered, which was Tivian and Silt's dad. So why is Barca now, like, out and about? So Barca, I, you don't have the reasoning why he's doing this, right? Like, you we don't know, know why Tivian or him are escaped from the Withering Palace. Right. We yeah. don't know but that. But Tivian seems to be in some, like, incorporeal form as opposed to Barca, which he's much more I don't know. corporeal, right? Like, he's much more Tivian seemed pretty corporeal the other day when he stole our two stones. Well, if what Will said that they got trapped in there with said smoke monster, I mean, if smoke monster consumed Tivian, it didn't necessarily have to consume Barco. No, I think Tivian is smoke monster. There's a difference. I don't know. I think they're one and the same at this point. Yeah, I mean, his soul could have been like hella corrupted. I'm so, pretty sure. I don't know. I'm just... I'm, I'm. One thing to kind of consider about the path that Barca is taking is that before he was sealed away, he was supposed to be the one who was going to land the killing blow on the monarch. Right. Being locked up with a potential monstrous entity for 20 years can fuck up your brain. Yeah. Okay. And how have we determined that Brother Gansel ties into all this? The other name for Barca, for Barca, right? Okay, all right, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, because um, and Emily or Osiris was Orion was um, <laughs> studied under Barca Gansel, Berta Gernzer. Well, no, she just kind of like she ran into him. He was like, "I was expecting you," but he and- bestowed upon you a lot of your knowledge. He gave her a book. Well, he gave yeah. me my like special book. 
Yeah, which which has a lot of your helps knowledge me. in it, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, it like writes itself for the most part. Like Osiris can write in it, but it writes like a lot of her knowledge for her. Wait. It's a little magic book. Osiris, now that we're talking about this. Wait, we weren't talking about this. <laughs> we were talking. Oh, Osiris, we were totally, all of this was in character. Uh, Osiris, uh, your book was given to you by Barca? Brother, Brother Gensel, yeah. Brother, ew. <laughs> brother, brother, ew. Ew. It was given by Brother, <laughs> Um, Is there, hold on, let me see Same. if I got a spell for this before I do what I'm about to do. I cast counter spell on the book. I cast counter spell on his counter spell. I okay. cast counter axe on both of their. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good waste of a third level spell, my guy. Okay, never mind. Yeah, all right, fine. Take that spell off your sheet, please, sir. That was third level. <laughs> it did not. It went. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that didn't do anything. That was really anticlimactic. I actually have dispel magic prepared. <laughs> I can try. I mean, what what are you what are you trying to do, Six? Well, there's a chance that that could be. Okay, do you remember when we found the stone in the underground? Right. It was disguised as a bottle of Chablis. Correct. So, maybe this is a disguised stone. Your book. It was given to you by Brother Gansel. I mean, he's a dickwad. Okay, but I think canonically, Will might actually be onto something. But he might be, yeah. But um, but this is my special book. It's tis my special book. Well, there's only one way to know for sure, Osiris. You have to do it. Wait, 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 wait. What if we? What if we do this? What if we pull the stone out and touch it to the book? That will tell us. Guess. That could work. Try it. It could also cause a lot of bad things to happen. I say we go for it. I pull the end <laughs> sort of holding around my around my torso and think Woundstone and pull one of them out. You mean the only one? One of one. The, we only I have pull one. The, pull, I, I think <laughs> Woundstone and pull the one that I have out. Okay. Yep, it comes into your hand. Osiris. Gross. <laughs> Osiris, look at me. <laughs> O- okay. Osiris, okay. look okay. at your okay. face. Okay. I'm, look, I'm looking, look in, I'm looking into at, the windows of I'm, my soul, Osiris. I'm looking into your eyeballs. What? <laughs> what? What? Are you ready? I mean... This if, may... This may make your book disappear forever. Uh, I want you to understand. If there is any knowledge in this book that you must have, you better have it in that little noggin of yours before we do this. You better write it in another motherfucking book. You better get another book. And jot it down quickly. Um, I grab too late, and I touch the stone to the book. There's a stone on a book. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't do anything, time. Magic Man. Okay, all right. It was a silly idea. I guess nothing happened. I put the stone back in the end. Yeah, well, it was worth a shot. If if there was if there was like, uh, you know, just the 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 picture of uh. That failed fart noise. That is what the event that just <laughs> happened. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Well, that was it. Was worth a shot. I, it was a thought. You know. I guess I can keep my book, and I put it back in its spot. It's um, placed in my bag. Osiris, Tanner, give me an arcana check, please. <laughs> okay. Why? Because I said so. <laughs> Your book explodes. <laughs> Okay, I'm working on it. Um, let me get my dice. Arcana. Uh, ooh, okay. Oh, this is an 18. As this sort of the chaotic energy that you know is stored in these stones, the things that can just happen with it coming in contact with uh, other pieces of magic or pieces of itself. Um, as it touches this book, you do notice some spark of arcana there. Something within the energy that's just... It doesn't seem like a direct attachment as same touching same, but there is some connection there that's being made as they touch and you see this arc of something. uh, And then once it gets, you know, a few inches away from the book, um, there's no longer any uh, indication of uh, magic between the two. Um, hey, Mark Bark, put the stone back close to the book. 
Um, Osiris is going to open up the book to one of the empty pages that has not been filled out by the magic yet and hold out the book again. Uh, okay, I think we tried this already. It didn't really do much, but I'll 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 appease your curiosity and I hold it. Um, we'll say uh, six inches away from the book. Um, at that distance, you can see some faint hints of swirling ink, very light on the page. Do you see that? I hold it closer. Our park, look. I do see that. I, we get I closer. Pull. We're two inches away now. The ink starts to coalesce into something that resembles a structure of uh, line work, but you can't really tell what it is. Is this across one page? So she's got it open, like, to like, like an so, empty, right? Like, is yeah. this like on this page? Whatever or page like it's closest across? to. Left or right. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm going to hold the bo- the stone actually touching the opposite page. The ink uh, begins to form together in a very swoopy and elegant form of writing uh, that kind of resembles Elvin. But if you speak Elvish, you can't read this. Oh, fuck. I speak Elvish, obviously. Is there are there any words that I can pick out? Kind of how we did with the. Yeah, there were some words I could pick out with the previous Elvish that's not Elvish. Oh, look, it says Shuhion. I am Nagulre. Shuhion best no treva. I was waiting this entire time for Tanner to be like, you touch it to the book and it says, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> it says, fuck you, bitch. Um, yeah, there, there's a, you could, you could notice similar prepositions or connective words in there, Mark Bark, as you did when they were, you know, if you remember back to what the statues said, you could kind of put those things together. Okay, can I get any sort of like, can, can I roll something to see if maybe I can glean any sort of meaning from this at all? It would be it would be knowledge that you don't have. Intimidation? You're, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, go yeah. Good, give me, how are you going to intimidate the book? Go ahead, say it. Look here, you goddamn book of secrets. Reveal your secrets now, or I will take this glowing sword and slice you in half. And oh, I, I don't know about in. that. Roll intimidation. I'll do it. That is a 19 plus 8. Nothing happens. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 27. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> you think you intimidated that oh, book? Oh, the DC was 30. So well, Shit. you're like, that book is shaking. And that's how you feel. Um, Bates, can you, Mr. Bates, can you read any of this? It, uh, it, there is no need for Mr. And if it was, it would be Mr. Seishir. But, um, okay, sure. Okay, well, can you, re- can you read this? No. Okay. Oh, Osiris, what happens if you turn to the next page? I don't know. Let me try. I flip to the next empty page. A very similar situation. The words are different, but you still can't understand them. Well, we have this amount of knowledge. I wonder if... uh, This is certainly a clue. I don't know what we're going to do with it, but um, we'll have to find somebody who knows this language. I wonder if Pudridge can read this. Vieira might know. Wait, wait, wait. I actually... There's one person I've always wanted to speak to ever since we started this. Uh, Pudridge's main rival is here in Velia. Uh, his name always escapes me. Let me look at my, let me get back in my memories, aka this sheet that I've read uh, a lot of people on. <laughs> my campaign notes. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Piat Belcom. Piat Belcom. Piat yeah. Belcom is here. Yeah. He is the number one historian right in front of. Ah, uh, yes. P.I. Bill, come, 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 come. <laughs> yeah. Come, come, no. come, 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 come. Okay, okay. All right. Um. Well, I think that we could find P.I. I think I would like to see if Five is here. Uh, I've told you guys about Five. And that's the only other sentient robot, Warforged. Well. Uh, whatever we call him here. We do have a day until um Archie's armor should be ready to go so I mean we could spend the day here I think we should also try to contact Asilt 
I don't know how difficult that's going to be to see the queen. I, it's I'm, got to be uh, pretty difficult. Let me just fucking stop you right there. You're aware that I'm like one of the most wanted fucking criminals in this entire country. And oh, you yeah, want to go, too. hey, let's go fucking walk up into the fucking uh, g- g- the kingdom's fucking <laughs> capital and just walk <laughs> around with me with my fucking f- mug out. Yeah, it seems like a great I idea. I was just gents. about to say, are we safe as a group in Velia? Because I have severe overhanging questions right now. I can answer that for you. No. Uh-uh. Not at all. Yeah, like, I wouldn't think so. I don't think that we should be just walking around Velia. I, I gotta say, your first round of uh, face portraits, uh, wanted posters, most of them not great. Couldn't tell who you are. Sixes, however, yeah, his six, was Mine was pretty good. I saw it. Yeah, they redid just all like, of those. But my mask is regular. gone now, so I, I look different. No, that is true. That's true. Six does look different. Okay, so that's the first thing. So, yeah, you go out there, everyone's going to see you. Uh, The second thing, do I have good disguises? Yes, I do. Um, Uh, Can I have the funny circular glasses with the nose and the mustache? Oh, can I have a mustache too? (laughs) I think that would be a really great disguise. Didn't you guys say good? Good disguises. Can I be a girl? Good. You can be anything you want to be, baby girl. Make me look like an old man. Uh, listen, I, we, uh, again, Archie is kind of on the right track here. We don't go extreme. I have a couple of disguise kits. We can work some magic, but it's going to be a slight deviation from what you already look like. I actually, I'm, I'm already a transformer and I transform into, uh, Optimus Prime. <laughs> yep. 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 Actually, I don't think I'll need a disguise. I say, uh, go, go gadget. Face changer? No, I'm just no. Uh, Archie, roll, roll for <laughs> gadget face changer. <laughs> oh look, it's a natural twenty. Is it really? <laughs> a three. Fuck it. Oh, yeah, you don't have that. <laughs> oh, yeah, you definitely don't have that. Yes. Okay, we can we can get some a uh, little bit of uh, prosthetics and some other things on your face make you look a little different. Uh, I think for. You, Six, um, first off, you don't look like your poster. You do look like you don't belong or like you're going to stick out. So I would, you, we will, the, we got to figure out a creative solution for you. Oh, maybe you could give me some pointy ears. Yes, but it would still be pointy ears on a mechanical person. Oh, just give me a new mask. Um, I don't. I mean, we could probably fashion a mask. I'm going. I'll do everyone's makeup, but you'll have to. If can you fashion yourself a mask? I can. Do you have some material? What do you need? I just need a piece of plastic. What is plastic? Uh, iron. Iron. You just need a piece of iron. How are you going Correct. to heat it <laughs> and to? Oh, shape? Don't worry. I, I have canonical uh, welding materials you have laser eyes i have laser eyes exactly yes that's you have a pr- you have Jesus. a, a print a sand <laughs> printer <laughs> so a i want a square printer. piece of plastic of, of uh, plastic i want a square piece of iron that's what i want uh yeah we can do iron um okay i i, or I can i can supply i can give you iron i can give you wood you want the iron i uh, uh wood or, wood or iron would work which just, do you prefer Let's do wood. It's easier to cut into. Okay. Yeah, so that's the thing. It would have been a little bit more difficult for you to work with iron. Do your rolls on that. So, yeah, he goes and gets you. What kind of wood do you want? Poplar. This very soft wood. Yes, easy for cutting. Okay, not great for durability, but that's fine. Yeah, let me look through my stack of wood and find you a piece of poplar. Why the fuck did I ask? All right, he comes back down with a piece of wood. Like, I don't know what this is. I don't know why I asked. It's it's, it's for my floor replacement. I think it's oak. Everybody here's squeaking, and Archie's over there, like, with uh, his sleeve squeaking, buffing out the place that he spit on. Oh, nice. It's the shiniest spot on the floor. Um, so six, I think it's just a two by four. So six just uh, cuts some eye holes in it and sticks it on his face. A two by four, which is not the width of your face. (laughs) So you're fucking, um... Plank. Plank from... Ed and Ned. Yes. Yeah. Yes, 100%. So this isn't good. You're not trying to make it good. 
He gave you. He could give you a wide piece. He gave you a couple pieces. You picked the two okay, by four. Okay. Okay. He gave me a wide. No. Piece. No. No. All you right, can have fine. the two by four. Do you want the two by four? No, no, I want, I want whatever he would bring to me. He would bring something that would cover any my piece, face. He would, any he piece, any piece of he has a, a he, he just started taking up woodworking. He, he would bring me a piece that would cover my face. He, he would bring that to me. He, what he brought, what he brings, it, so. he got his new floors because I did mention new floors. His new floors, floors are wide plank. Uh, so you know, oh, it's, nice. it's like, uh, it's eight inches wide, and he hands you, hands okay. you that. Yeah. So he cuts it into a perfect square. And Six does. Then, yeah, cut. He, okay. he, Burns a little mouth that doesn't move. It's so you're doing a, this with your eyes? Yeah, yeah. I'm a I'm a laser a mouth that's just straight, like the the fate the straight mouth, just mm-hmm. straight mouth. And then he burns holes for the eyes. And that's it. Okay, so go ahead and we'll do this like a it's a tool. Your eyes are currently being used as tools. So D20 plus your proficiency bonus. He doesn't need to look uh, great. He just needs to look not like six. That's it. That's all he's trying to do. So. Yeah, the, that's the thing, is to, to stand out, but not like six stand out, right? Yes, 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 yes. Bad, he bad, also bad, doesn't bad. Go ahead. He, he doesn't want to stand out like a robot. He just wants to stand out like a weirdo. Like a weirdo. Okay, <laughs> yeah, go ahead and roll. That's a 16 on dice, actually. 16 on dice. Plus your proficiency bonus. So 19 total. Okay. Yeah, you do a, a very good job uh, of cutting out a square, a straight line for a mouth, and a couple of eye holes. It is exactly what you tried to do, which was very simple. Um, Perfect. How are you attaching it to your face? Glue. <laughs> come, 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 come. <laughs> Stop it. Uh, no. <laughs> you you grab this the, the wood glue uh, from the recent floor construction. It's just over in the corner. Oh, I thought they had left. I forgot they had left that there. Uh, do you want string as you smear it all over the, the plank and just... <laughs> blue shit against your face. No string necessary. Thank you. Boop. And he pops it on. Yep. Okay. Um, everyone six has a wooden mask that is just a plank with a line and two dots. <laughs> Would you like to give him a wow. compliment? How do I look? Us. Uh, no. Six, you definitely no. don't look re- recognizable. I mean. Well, I do I look human? <sighs> I'll do a twirl. Is that your goal? Not on your fucking life. Is that a serious question? Uh, I guess not. You look beautiful. I think you did a great job on your... Please don't encourage him. Listen, is it going to change anything for him to not have the confidence in the thing that he just did? (laughs) All right. Thank you. Now, for everyone's makeup process, I have spoolies... (laughs) <laughs> you, have, you have what? It's a type of makeup brush that I think you use to do your eyelashes. Why are you rushing again? And he looks he looks at the only woman in the room. Did I get it right? I, I don't I don't wear makeup. I don't know. Oh, you guys, I you know. the, I've lived in the woods. Oh, these these eyelashes are all natural. Yeah, she just smears dirt and leaves in her face. Uh, I thought that was uh, blush. It's not, is it? It's just like mushroom. Yeah, her contouring is literally yeah, okay. mud. Then we have a makeup montage. Do the, yeah, okay. What's everyone look like? What do what do you what do you disguise Ooh. yourself as? For the montage, while while Baith is like putting on makeup, I imagine like some like Lizzie McGuire type like cutscene music. What is Lizzie oh McGuire? That's so specific. Can we can we move on? Can we move? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I'm we'll just thinking go, of we'll like go. an early 2000s, late 1990s. Like I open the door to Belly and I go, "Come and take me, <laughs> please, away from these fucking people." <laughs> All right, uh, real quick. What does everyone look like? Are you your same race? Have you tried to disguise yourself as a different one? What's going on? Uh, we should not be putting on race face here. I don't believe <laughs> you can put pointy ears on and pretend to be an elf. It's fine. Oh, okay. Mark Bark now has pointy ears. Is pretending you to had be an elf. pointy ears. <laughs> you <are> an elf. <laughs> You're a drow elf. A drelf. A drelf. Okay, what do you look like? A drow. I'd like to fuck. That's drilf. Just kidding. what do you look like? Um. So if there's wigs, I imagine that Osiris would have like, um, maybe like a black wig on, and um, obviously she can't do anything about her glasses. But can we say this together? Edna mode. <laughs> yes. Oh, Edna mode. She is also short. Edna mode. 
Okay, she's got a little short bob on what with is bangs. Edna Mode? Um, the glasses <gasps> from The Incredibles. Brother, ugh. we are all so off of. We, okay, I'm here. We go. Okay, Emily, Edna Mode, Frazier. Just name someone in pop culture. I I look like Brad Pitt. Go. Next. Hell yeah, Bruce. What does Archie look like? A slightly knockoff Archie. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he looks like Gallagher, the guy who smashes watermelons. Next. You know what? Yeah, I don't I don't know what that means. Uh, <laughs> you do your makeup to try and make yourself look slightly different. What you end up looking like is you could be Aeneas's brother. Oh. Yeah, okay. Oh, That's cool. oh shit. Whoa. He's like, I'm surprised Archie's okay with that. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Last thing. Everybody's got to have a code name. I am <laughs> my name <laughs> Seven. Fuck, Will, you're just getting off into a whole okay, other right, tangent. Right, let's let's just play, the We're game. playing the game. You're, you're fucking, you're, you're Steve. You're Steve. I'm Joe. Emily is 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 Rachel, Edna. and Bruce is Bruce. Wait, right, <laughs> wait, no, he's Chandler. I'm there Joey. You're you're um, Ross. Ross. Okay. Right. Right. No, it's right. Ross. Right. Yeah, Ross. I don't know if you could do siblings, Ross and Rachel. At least be Phoebe. I mean, come on. Yeah, right. All right. Whoever told you life was gonna be this way? <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. And we walk out into the world as our new people. All right, listen, I I need to. Okay, I I'm sorry for getting frustrated with you guys earlier. Let me just say that there's a lot of things going on, and when you're already a thief, it kind of makes things difficult to then have an accusation of uh, being in league with other people that are the most wanted people in the country, which you've said multiple times. So. I'm going to continue to lay low here. What you're going to notice if you leave this door and you try and open it back up, it will lead into an empty space. There is nothing in the other building, right? So you have to do this, like a secret knock. I have to know it's you, okay? So if you would like to tell me what the... Actually, I should tell you because it'll take us 15 minutes yes. for you to decide here, no, on the you. knock. I got you, ready? Okay, what is it? Okay, great. <laughs> exactly that. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. It was lovely seeing you. If you need anything, do the knock. We'll come back and we'll talk. I am going to hide out here. Uh, and um, yeah, good luck. Do you need anything else from me in terms of information? Why did you come to see me to begin with? Oh. We don't know. We missed you. Oh, good. <laughs> hey, this is great. I, this well, is... actually, no, I, I wanted to come check on you and see if you were doing all right, because our, uh, in, our initial partnership was lucrative for both of us and uh, well-founded. And so that's why we came to check on you. But as you can see, uh, everything has gone to fuck. And quite frankly, I just, I'm, at this point, I'm just, I just kill Tivian, kill the royalty. Fuck it. I don't even care anymore. Also... Uh, Faith, I don't know you, but that Chandri guy, he's kind of a dick. I would never do business with him ever again. Oh, I didn't like him to begin with. I just took his money. I got the payment up front. Oh, well. Yeah. Did he die? Almost. Oh, oh, no, I mean, I didn't. I don't know about that because he's, I just knew about the business in Arcus. What are we doing? Sorry. (laughs) Okay. Now that I have my wires crossed. You all leave the building. Uh, (gasps) As you do, you walk out (laughs) into uh, a... A kind of dreary sunrise, a slow-moving morning out on the streets of Velia. It is uh, starting actually to to pick up. There are people on the streets, some people, uh, you know, cleaning up trash, making things look as nice as possible for this portion of the city. Um, there are bailiwicks who are coming by and putting out the lamp posts, and uh, all over the city, everyone's starting to wake up. Hello, dear listeners, this is Will. Thank you so much for listening to episode 58 of the Never There campaign. Our next episode will release on Monday, October the 28th, so follow us to listen to new episodes as soon as they release. If you're enjoying our podcast, drop us a rating on Spotify or your favorite podcast platform. And if you'd like more Another Realm content, follow us at Another Realm on YouTube and TikTok and at Another Realm Podcast on Instagram. Stop by anotherrealm.com to check out all kinds of cool info about the Never There setting, and maybe show us a little support by getting yourself something nice from the merch store. Well, that's the end of the plug, so let's get back to the gang and see what they do in the capital city of Velia.
there are uh, there's a lot to be seen in Velia. There are multiple districts. Uh, there are tons of stores. There's of course the castle, which is on the central or the island in the center of the lake that uh, Velia uh, borders. Um, and there's anything that you could want to find is here, except for a magic school. Uh, there is one nearby, but it is on the coast on an island. Yeah, it's um, called Caster Haven. It is called Caster Haven. Uh, someone wants to go there for some reason. Um, and uh, I want to go there. Yeah, here is a bunch of uh, small shops on this street. Um, it is cobblestone. Again, it is, is relatively nice through here. Uh, you can see why Baith would want to position himself here. Um, but as you come out onto the street and before you can close the door, a wisp, uh, actually three wisps of black smoke rush out of Outward Enterprises and uh, scatter off into the distance before you can do anything about it. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's probably fine. Oh. All right, folks, we're in the most decrepit, worst, uh, absolute shithole in the entire country. There's nothing here we could ever want. There's nothing we need to look at. We just need to do what we need to do and get the fuck out of here. Archie, I don't know. It's kind of beautiful. As he explains this, out from a building nearby emerges a barbershop quartet. <laughs> Starts a very lovely song. Oh, my See Lord. See what I mean? It's an absolute piss pot. Archie. All right, Will, we're going to have to yeah, record a barbershop quartet do, piece uh, for this uh, part uh, right uh, here. Bruce, I need you. Tanner, I need you. Uh, do, 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 Emily, I guess Emily we can be the there. We have the magic of editing. We could all just, we could do it. Uh, one person could. So, Archie, I, I actually... It's actually very beautiful. I've never been to the capital before. Archie ignores him. <laughs> never has there ever been a den of thievery, debauchery, and general fuckery. Very, very nice uh, partial pull. I don't know the whole... I don't, I don't either. All right, so you're all in Velia. Uh, a couple bits of things that kind of can help you drive uh, where you're going to go. You do know that um, there is a six alike here um, and that uh, Barca slash Brother Ganzel was making his way to the capital. Um, so you could potentially try and look for information on him here. The best places often to find information since we haven't been in this side of D&D in a while uh, where people are alive um, is inns, uh, places where you drink, uh, harbors, things like that. So lots of places to try and find information about people if you're looking for a certain thread. Is there an alehouse nearby? Not one that you'd want to drink at. Look, I want to drink anywhere at this point. Uh, on the corner, there's a sign. Uh, very uh, well-made, gilded. Uh, it, it just says the beautiful local tap house. <laughs> I'm just going to describe everything as beautiful in this as Archie just grumps around. Ah, oh, it's fucking nasty. Hey, look, that sign there says Tap House. Let's try this place. Tap House, more like fucking Crap House. <laughs> Ayo. Hey, it was pretty good. I actually. agree. <laughs> I, I, I'm very excited to try the local alcohol. Guys, don't alcohol. forget. Alcohol? Where? We're on the oh, I oh, swing oh, at the oh, 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 person. Glow. Oh, whoa, no, wait, wait. I stop, Archie. Uh. Sorry, I forgot that was the code word now. Um, and we haven't used that in a long time. <laughs> Let's just say fermented beverages. Ah, fermented beverages. Is that like federal fits? Stop. No, it's much more like Stop Bella. It. Yeah, that's right. This is the biggest federal All offense right, let's you've go ever into the seen. We go, we, we go to the tavern. We go into the tavern. Uh, go. There's never been a larger federal offense than this fucking capital. You go, you go towards the tavern and you try the front door. It's closed as it's early morning. <gasps> oh. Well, guys, I guess we're a little bit early for the tap room today. Crop room. Um, across, what else do we see around us? Across the street, you can see uh, this, this very warm looking uh, elven woman walking out from this little uh, boutique shop and setting up this um, kettle out front on a table in front of her store. Um, is she cute? Yeah, she's cute. No, okay. she's a uh, debaucherous, lecherous old hag. <laughs> she's she's cute, very young, and uh, very... What, I, what's the opposite of lecherous? <laughs> Virginal? <laughs> no, oh, that's... Oh, she's, oh, no. she's cherubesque. Okay, that's better. Better word. Excuse me, ma'am. You look like a virgin. Chaste. <laughs> Chaste. 
Yeah. Excuse not- me, you look like a virgin. <laughs> I don't know if I should take that as a compliment. Or oh no, if you're- I didn't mean to say that in character. <laughs> you look like a fucking whore. <laughs> hey, I, guys, that hurts watch, my feelings. Watch, watch Mark Bark lay down the riz. <laughs> Well, good afternoon, ma'am. The name is Mark Bark Smoth. How are you? <laughs> Can we just start? <laughs> Can we just start this whole fucking episode over. First off, it's morning, and second off, I'm very well. How are you? I'm doing quite well. If I was any better, I'd be you. That's <laughs> um. All right. Uh, would you like some tea? I would love some. What variety of tea are you serving? <laughs> Well, this is actually a magical teapot. It's any variety you'd like to have. Oh, wow. Okay. How about, how about this? Chamomile? No, 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 not chamomile. It's a bit, bit late, bit early in the day for chamomile. How about some Earl Grey with a touch of spearmint? (laughs) I think we could do that. Uh, Sure. Would you like that hot or iced? Hot, please. All right. Just like you. (laughs) And he winks at her. That's very forward. I think Frazier just wanted a reason to flirt with Tanner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, I'm sorry. Um, I do business here. Uh, so if, if we'll just go with the tea. Uh, and she pours you tea and she hands it to you. It's very nice. It's very warm. And it's very Earl Grey. Excuse me. Hmm. Uh, yes. Have you seen a robot? What's a robot? A big metal man. A big... Metal man. Um, I, you mean like knights? Wait, no, uh, he would be artificial. No, it's like a regular person, except instead of skin, they have metal. They, uh, well, uh, yes, uh, I haven't seen it personally, but there is, um, a, an attraction in a traveling circus of sorts that's, uh, oh. more towards city center on, well, one of the seedier sides of, of town. What's a circus? What's a circus? Uh, a circus is where they, it's like a, do you know what a zoo is? No, what's a zoo? All right, do you know, uh, basically, if you take animals and you put them in like a, a, a you, you go, a circus is where you view um, attractions of animals or people. Uh, they've got people that do things on uh uh, feats of strength and some people that are really good at balancing and oh. some people that can do. Are they, are they animals okay with this? Uh, I, I don't, I can't speak with animals. I know some people can, uh, so I don't know really. Uh, I don't really frequent the circus all that much. I haven't gone to see this one. Um, I'm very busy with my store. You know, small businesses you have to attend to pretty much every day or else they fail. So what kind of places do you frequent when you're not doing business? (laughs) Well, that's part of my personal life and I'm sorry I don't know you, so. Mark Burke, what's wrong with your eye? What? What are you talking about? Yeah, your eye's kind of twitching. He's continuously winking. Well, it was it was very nice to meet you. Where where did you say the circus was? Uh, if you keep heading west, uh, it's on the far side of town, past the city center. Oh, thank you so much. Oh shit! Does anybody have a compass? Uh, you could just go in the opposite direction of the sun. Yes. You look like a sailing man. You should have known that. Oh, well, sick bird. Well, of sick course bird. I do. I just wanted to see if you would know, and you passed the test. Good luck. That seems kind of sexist for you to try and test a woman's knowledge on things now, doesn't it? Shut up. And Marbart walks in. <laughs> <laughs> he said, shut up. <laughs> oh, gotta go. Hey, uh, bye. Okay. All right. <laughs> no, <laughs> you don't wanna, how would you rate this interaction? No, me? no, uh, no, no, I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to know. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, where are you guys heading next? Uh, Weast. Your mom's house. <laughs> Your mom. <laughs> uh, is everybody okay with going to the circus? How about that? Before I just dictate what we do, because I was just... No, I, I would like... Yeah, I want to see this um, robot. I want my helmet and my sword, but I can't have that yet. We got a whole Sorry. day, Bruce. Womp womp, Bruce. <laughs> Mark Bark is obviously very good at navigating, so he's going to head in the direction that girl implied. All right. You guys head west through the city. Uh, very clean streets, very nice drainage systems <laughs> to keep uh, puddles from <laughs> Wow, this, this place, is... place is an absolute fucking pigsty. I can't believe they actually <laughs> let this place exist. Archie, I don't I don't typically disagree with you, but this is beautiful. That's like look at this. Then you're blind. 
a lot of the houses and things you walk by, walk by have like very nice gardens out front. There's a few that have ivy with flowering blooms on the sides of them. Uh, he got, uh, Archie goes, hey, 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 loathe entirely. The one that he points that at when he says that, there's just this little old lady out front uh, oh, trimming, no. <laughs> trimming a little bonsai tree. And she sees, she looks down at her bonsai no. tree and looks back up at Archie and goes, oh, <laughs> my Archie, Archie flips oh, my her God. off. <laughs> oh. You know. You know what? I'm sorry she stops looking him. sad and she flips you off too with oh, both shit. fingers. Fuck you, you daddy old hag! <laughs> God. Fuck you, you dickless nuts! Got him. Okay, all right. And, Indeed. And then we make it to the circus? And then we go to the circus. Uh, so it's a pretty big city, you guys. This whole fucking town is a circus! You, it's a big city. It's going to take you guys some time to get there. But as you do, like you can see uh, directions and advertisements for a, a bunch of different stuff here in the city. Um, mostly uh, inns and other places to stay. Um, some for restaurants. Uh, and so if there was anything else that you wanted to look for while you were here, it'd be very easy to find it. Especially if you wanted to ask one of the uh, guards in pristine armor uh, that all nod to you and say nice things as you walk by. <laughs> Look at these clanking wankers with their shite fucking armor and their... Sh- <laughs> yeah, uh, excuse me, uh, sir or madam, yes. I can't tell in the armor. What can I help you with today, sir? Yes, uh, I was hoping you could point us to the doting doublets and other grateful garments that's here. Oh, doting doublets and other grateful garments, sir. Uh, yes, there is definitely one here. It has been recently closed. I remember the last time I saw the sign, it does say under new management. Apparently there was some debacle with the man that uh, was in, tr- uh, the, in charge of it uh, previously. The CEO, if you will. Uh, he uh, he was involved with some nasty scoundrels down oh. in Port Wayworth. And, uh, nasty mm, scoundrels? Wasn't very good. That's, that's terrible. Oh, uh... uh I've always known them to be great at clothing. Oh, they certainly are. I, I get most of my uh, underthings from there. Socks and ruse. Oh, okay. Sorry, uh, I, I, I've been told before that I don't have much of a filter. I apologize. It's probably something that I pur- shouldn't share with other people. What's the purpose of undergarments? Oh, uh, well, uh, it, uh, you know, that's, uh, I'm not the one that, you know, uh, hey, that mask that you have is very interesting. Why do you wear that? Oh, I gotta go. <laughs> and he walks away. <laughs> yes, it's good. This was an awkward conversation. Have a good day, sir. I gotta go. Oh, I gotta go. All right, and, and we leave. I just wanted to know if there was a Dodie Doublet, so maybe we could stop in there at some point, but circus oh. hey we just went to one uh, well no but we didn't get the oh yeah we did purchase them, next so. we're going to the circus <laughs> bye all right as you guys continue through the city uh you get closer to city center about uh noon like it it takes a while to walk through here it's a large city um and uh as you're walking through another street you do see a tavern open up over on the side um seems like a few people going in and coming out with sandwiches and beer. Oh. We could get some information there, guys. We could get some beer in there. We could get some information in there. What do you expect RG to say? Fuck that place! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, uh, we already know where the robot is, but I would like to know where Piat Belcom is. he just going to be in the castle? Can we see the castle? Probably. No. Uh, from here, it's pretty far off. The castle is on an island in the center of the Hope Sworn Lake, um, which this uh, borders. Truthfully, I don't know what other information we'd be looking for at a tavern. Tanner's given us this opportunity to find some more information. So if anybody else can think of something that we should probably ask, maybe now is the time before we go on this circus trip. No, I was just going to say, anything we could... I mean, ask about would be probably clearly evident to our eyeballs. Like, oh, there's no smoke here. Oh, there's no Brianna. You know, so I yeah, don't there's know no this. smoke here. That's a good point. Oh, oh, what about maybe maybe if anybody's seen a dwarf with a red hand? That's true. We could ask about Barca's whereabouts. We could ask about Tivian. If anybody remembers the queen having a brother. 
Yeah, but I, we no already gonna... know that they don't. I don't know if that would be as helpful as maybe. I mean, I, we could give a bunch of people headaches. <laughs> We could give a bunch of people headaches. What if we don't waste time going into the tavern and we proceed on through town to get to the thing we're going to? I was thinking we make a bunch of people touch the stones and it starts a riot. Let's start no, a riot. No, no, no. I'm thinking we don't do that. I'm thinking we just move right on past this place and we go. Yeah, we're, we're moving past. We're going to the circus. Yeah, I say fuck the, fuck the tavern. Yeah, fuck the tavern. All right. Yeah, fuck that tavern. I mean, federal offense, that tavern. Now you all finally understand it. Uh, Mark Barkas, you guys uh, walk past the tavern. You see uh, one, or you hear one guy uh, almost out of earshot goes, they're giving away free samples as you guys continue <laughs> on. Mark Bark says, free samples and kick some dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Early afternoon, uh, you guys make your way over. Um, towards city center and uh, keep moving west beyond that. It's not as nice over here. It is more plain. Um, not that the other place was was wealthy, uh, but this is more, uh, you know, you, you see some... Even more shite. Yeah, you see some consignment stores and uh, just some, some more uh, really simple um, tool stores, things that are good for very utilitarian purposes. Um, and you move through these streets here and end up hearing eventually some uh, slightly whimsical music off in the distance. <laughs> uh, some hurdy gurdying, uh, maybe a uh, some didgeridoo in. Yeah, well, well, Ooh, yeah, you can hear some didgeridoo. I think that's a little difficult oh. to try and find in ter- terms of music and the vibe that we want. So, I mean, <laughs> if you can find it. You know, that'd be a little weird. Um, uh, Nice. You guys follow this and eventually come into the circus area. Um, There is a tent out front uh, where you would buy tickets. You see everyone lining up there. It's a pretty short line. People are going through pretty quickly. Uh, But there's a couple of performers out in the street here uh, kind of doing their thing to show you a bit of a, a teaser as to what's inside. Oh, is this circus? Osiris would like to approach one of the ticket masters. Okay, you guys go up to, to purchase some tickets. Um, basically, uh, right now, it's a matinee. So it's very inexpensive and only costs one eider for two people. Oh, wow. Oh, That's yeah. a steal. I love a good bargain. So you guys hand over two eider? Yep, yep, we hand over two eider. Great. And you head on in? Um, excuse me, what are they... What are they showing here? Uh, well, we've got quite a few things to show. Um, there are plenty of performers in here. There are games. Uh, there are a few shows under some of the big tops. There's uh, a few animal performances within. Uh, really, anything you could think of. There's a house of mirrors. Oh, anything. Um, Do you show Belloc? I'm sorry, sir. Children are here. So if you, uh, if, if we hear any more profanity, you will be escorted out. I'm sorry. I didn't realize that that was a federal offense. I just said, if, if you said <laughs> any more profanity. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. Please forgive me. I will not. Roll persuasion. I'm trying to save oh. his life. <laughs> you're not. <laughs> no, it's a 17 not. plus 12. So 29. <laughs> If we hear anything more from Sir in the Wooden Mask, like I said, you will be escorted out. We take these things very seriously. There are children in here. Six just stares at him. I think you're staring at me. It's kind of creepy. Please excuse our friend. He's not very good with the social cues. But we understand. We'll take we'll we'll make sure. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great have a great day. Uh, yeah, you guys head in. Uh, there's plenty of performers around here. There's really no signage or anything, so if you want to find uh, any particular activity or person, you'd have to ask someone. Excuse me. Who are you walking up to? Performer? Uh, Perform- guard, uh, first person other to person. see. Other person? Yeah, just first person to see. Excuse me, I'm looking for the robot. Yeah, the first person you see is a sword swallower, and he currently has a sword in his throat. Oh. Can you please ew. tell me where to find... Oh, Can you please tell me where to find the robot? Uh... He kind of raises an eyebrow at you for a second and points off in a direction. Okay, thank you. Um, and you can see a, a decent crowd of people starting to gather over to that side. 
Um, you all make your way over there and you can, from this uh, outer ring of people, you'd have to force your way through to, to see a little bit better. But you can hear an announcer towards the center saying, and this is one of our strangest attractions that we've had in a while. Recently acquired from faraway lands, it operates on its own, yet it doesn't have any organic material. Look at it. Dig, dig, dig. Very, very technical. We've had scientists look at it and they went, huh? <laughs> and he just kind of goes on they about went, uh, huh. the, the tech specs that he's making up clearly about uh, about whatever it is. Oh, is it moving? You guys can't see from here. Oh, we can't see it. All right. Well, let's move toward where we could actually see it. Okay. Y'all start pushing through the crowd here. A lot of faces looking up at you. Some very annoyed uh, as you you kind of make your way through. It is uh, very crowded. Everyone's shoulder to shoulder in here. Um, So you're gathering a a decent amount of attention as you move forward. Uh, You eventually make your way up to the front and you can see this thing. Um, It does look like six and the the person that's the most aware of this of course would be six because it doesn't look like it has any integrated armor um it is a dull color you can see some rust spots that have been painted over um it actually has some uh ornamentation that uh you don't know if if it put on or if it was an accoutrement that was put on by the people that run it here but it just kind of stands up here in a t-pose and uh is kind of tilting its head, looking around, and uh, it starts um, to wave a little bit and puts its arms back. Actually, Tanner, that is canonically called the Christ pose. It's in a Christ air on the ground. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no problem. Um, okay, <laughs> Six looks at its face. Its face is very similar to yours. Hmm. Is there a number on it? There is not a number on it, no. I mean, we already know the number, don't we? Well, we're not sure yet. I don't know if this is just some, like, it could just be a red herring placed by Tanner. Six, roll perception for me. Oh, that's a three plus eight. Eleven. 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 The the face where you would expect the number on the forehead is smooth. Okay. Six says, well, I... I need to take a closer look and starts to go towards it. Uh, you're basically at the stage, so you'd have to climb up to get a better look. Yeah, I definitely do. <laughs> okay. Without uh, any other oh, social no, cues. Six. <laughs> six, six. I need to look at it closer. Hey, six. Uh, six, I don't think that would be appropriate if you climbed up there. Oh. You see a couple clowns on the corners, big burly clowns start making their way towards you. Oh, I shouldn't climb six, up. Six, get down. Okay, I get down. No, Six. Okay. I understand. They might draw too much attention, and they might start to think they look like that guy. You look like that guy in the cage, and they might want to put you in the cage. Okay, Six climbs back down. They do. One of the one of the bigger of the two clowns does an I see you. Uh, his eye Osiris kind of like waves and mouths the word sorry. Six also mouths the word sorry, but uh, you can't see it because it's Six just a straight have, mouth. Okay. He just waves. Cool. Um, All right. Six... Um, Maybe we can get some information if we talk to, like, the ringleader or someone that might be running this uh, this machine. Maybe. That's, a, that's not a bad idea. I think we should try. We should try that. Oh, let me try one thing first. Hey, Five. Um, you don't seem to get a reaction. Hmm. I don't know if this is a waste of time or not, but I would like to investigate that. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> I'd like to investigate that robot a little closer. We should we should talk to somebody first and see if they can tell us maybe where they got it from or maybe something like that. Where it's not as conspicuous as if we're trying to steal the, the guy. We're not we don't want to steal him and we don't want to make people think we're trying to steal him. She's whispering this by the way. It's very true. Okay. Oh. Um, all right, then we I guess we're just going to watch the rest of the presentation and try to See if we can talk to the robot afterwards. Or I keep calling it a robot. Uh, six would call it a vessel. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, so you guys hang around for about the next 30 minutes uh, before the presenter uh, puts his hand on its uh, its back, the vessel's back, potential vessel's back, and leads it off the stage. As it gets uh, towards the curtain, it puts its hands down 
and you kind of see it it tilts its head left and right kind of like an, an emotion where you're cracking your neck and then goes uh yeah. behind the curtains okay i want to take a peek behind the curtains okay um there's another act that's coming out so the crowd of people here uh remain um so as you're looking up at the stage you can kind of see uh on one side on the right side there's a uh an entrance uh, that you can go up and and potentially find a set of stairs or see if you can get to the back without climbing up onto the stage here. Um, One of the burly clowns is over there, though. Archie. Hmm. Mark, Mark. I have an idea. I'm going to make us all invisible and we can spread out and just see what kind of information we can find out, whether it be about the additional Warforged or anything else we can see. Just remember, no one else can see you. We've got one out. Go. And okay. okay, cool. Everybody's in business. All right. Doesn't that also mean we can't see ourselves? Yeah. Uh, you can be. A- I mean, you can't see yourself. You can't see but each other. No, I mean, like, I each can't other. see you guys. Yeah. So we yeah. have no idea where we're oh, going to yeah, meet yeah. back up or any of that. Oh, you just uh, talk uh, to hey. each other. Oh, hey, before we go, right, hey. let's all meet back up right here. Yeah. Okay. Bye. <laughs> and it's okay. Six you guys can stay together. I'll, I'll, I'll permit that you can kind of talk to each other and be secretive and, and be able to keep communication. Well, we're going to split up, up and uh, get yeah, we were gonna information. Spread out. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, yeah. So bear in mind, though, this is a concentration spell. So should anything happen to Mark Bark that is going to just like mess up his concentration? Poof. Everybody's visible suddenly. The minute you get out here, it is the most entertaining act you've ever seen. Uh, they're just uh, scantily cla- uh, clad uh, gymnasts that are flipping around here. <laughs> I-, I need you to roll, concentrate, <laughs> give me a constitution. Oh, no. no, 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 okay. no. Uh, you guys leave, and as you do, you see a, a card on the ground, a, a white-backed card. You can only see the white side at this point. Okay. I pick it up. You pick it up and flip it over, and on the other side, uh, you see the most creative shop name. Uh, in this sort of oh, okay. <laughs> swirly, kind of smoky-looking font, uh, and, and it, it it it's just called uh, <laughs> making this up on the spot. <laughs> it's called it's not drugs. <laughs> it's not drugs pharmacy. Yeah, it's not drugs pharmacy. <laughs> uh, and at the bottom, uh, it, it says new store grand opening by a period a period. Aaron Azure. Of course. Aaron Oh, my God. It's not drugs. Pharmacy. Oh, my God. <laughs> all right. Uh, you all make your way into the backstage area. Um, as you do, you're walking by one of these big uh, muscular clowns. Uh, okay. I need everyone to give me a stealth roll. Oh, Lord. Natural 20. Hell yeah. I got a 16. Cool. Uh, that's an eight total. Four. Four total. Four. I got a four. <laughs> What'd you get, Will? You all make it in as the muscular clown is blowing his nose. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. So you just wanted to give us a heart attack for fun. Yeah. Uh, got it. As he's blowing his nose, um, you hear, <laughs> Oh, shit. He puts the red nose back on his Damn face. Damn it, I had a freaking <laughs> mouthful of beer with that. <laughs> okay, cool. I go find the robot. I go find uh, yeah. the vessel. You're you're in this back room setup. There's a lot of crates and things here that you can tell they've used to, uh, you know, put up all the tents and all the other attractions. There's a few people back here practicing some stuff, some jugglers. Um, they're currently working with uh, the things that they typically light on fire that currently aren't on fire right now. Um, and you can see the sort of, uh, the, the ringleader, uh, ringmaster that was presenting, um, the vessel earlier, the potential vessel earlier, uh, walking further towards the back as they go into this, um, smaller, uh, this canvas, uh, flapped off place within this structure. Um, so it seems more of like a, a private section towards the back. Um, I'll follow are you all going together? You said you wanted to split up. Is there anything else that y'all are looking for in here? No, nah, we'll just go together. Good, good with, good with yep. that. Yeah, it looked like yeah, you were is. thinking hard there, Will. Okay. No, I was just, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. 
Uh, you all make your way towards the uh, the the white flap, and you can hear them. Uh, you can hear talking from the inside. Um, and one voice goes, "I don't like having all these eyes on me. It's kind of uncomfortable." And the other one goes, "Why? You're wearing metal. It's not like they can see your face." Oh. Hmm. Oh. Okay, so it's fake. Yeah. It's something. Six is going to go through the flaps. Okay. Uh, both you go in here and uh, you can see them. It's the same guy from earlier. And you can see the potential vessel taking off the, the metal head. And it's just a person underneath. But they both notice the flap opening up over on the side uh, and go, what the? Hello? And the one starts reaching forward. Uh, the, the presenter starts reaching forward to where you are. I dodge. Uh -oh. I dodge him. Okay. I'm a uh, dodge you boy. back up out of the way. Uh, the other one yells out. Hey, I, I, I think there's someone in here. There, someone we can, so someone's got invisibility or something on. That's, that's lame. Uh-oh. <laughs> that's lame. That's lame. Um, at this point, when you do say out loud, that's lame, it startles the person that was wearing uh, this basically armor to them at this point, and they they drop the this outer shell helmet uh, on the ground. Um, and as it falls, Six, you look down to it, and you notice uh, something scuffs off of the front of it at the forehead. Okay, what scuffs off of it? Can I see anything on the front of the helmet that would make me want to take interest in this helmet? Yeah, uh, as you do, it's it's kind of like a deep etching. It looks like there was something caked in it and colored to to look, uh, just make it all look like uh, one solid piece on the forehead. Is it a five? It, it's just a piece missing out of it. It's it, that could be a good assumption though. Okay, okay, all right. That six picks up the helmet and runs. Okay, yeah, they just see this bobbing helmet come out. And uh, everyone else that's with Six, uh, you can see this group of clown bouncers uh, coming in and a couple of performers, and they all immediately spot this head that is just floating. Six, as you're looking down at this thing, you wipe your hand over the forehead and it is a number five etched into it. Mm -hmm.